Hey there and welcome, my name is Pete and today we complete Mirror's Edge. In this playthrough we will complete the entire storyline of the game on hard difficulty, grab all collectibles and unlock every achievement that is unlockable. This excludes a few achievements related to the special game modes in Mirror's Edge, but be sure this is as complete as it gets for the story mode. So here we are, let's get started. Once the city used to pulse with energy, dirty and dangerous, but alive and wonderful. Now, it's something else. The changes came slowly at first. Most didn't realize, or didn't care, and accepted them. They chose a comfortable life. Some didn't. And those who refused to conform were pushed to the sidelines, criminalized. They became our clients. We call ourselves runners. We exist on the edge, between the gloss and the reality. The mirror's edge. We keep out of trouble, out of sight, and the cops don't bother us. Runners see the city in a different way. We see the flow. Rooftops become pathways and conduits, possibilities, and routes of escape. The flow is what keeps us running, keeps us alive. Train of time, Face. Yeah, I know you hate it, but that fall took you out of commission for a while. And now you're back, you gotta keep sharp, especially in this city. Check out these new training grounds, pretty slick, huh? So let's not run around duty, so get to her and just go with the flow, okay? Alright, we start the game off with the tutorial mission and after learning the basic controls of movement we jump right into the game and over our very first obstacle. The voice in our ear belongs to our mentor Mercury or just Merc. He told us to meet someone named Celeste and... There she is. Get after her. Well, look no further. That's her. Right here. Hi Faith, welcome back. We'll be seeing you so soon. Now, the basic purpose of the tutorial is to get you accustomed to the game. It doesn't really add to the story. Our mission, if you can call it that, is to follow Celeste around the level, over fences, along walls. I think you get the point. So you might ask, why not skip the tutorial altogether? Well, this is a complete playthrough of Mirror's Edge, and that means tutorial, prologue, and all nine chapters. Also, the tutorial gives us the chance to grab an early achievement. This gives me the moment to say that I'm playing on the PC, so there are no achievements by default. However, I will edit them into the video when they are unlocked. And before you know, there it is, our very first achievement for doing a wall run, jump and speed vault onto the roof right here. Now, this combination for the free-flowing achievement might sound a little bit more complicated than it actually is. Just hold the jump button for the wall run, press turn to turn around, and then press jump again to, well, jump. Then you should land on the roof and be one achievement closer to completion. Right here we have a somewhat slower part and this is something that Mirror's Edge does very well. It is no doubt a fast paced game and we will see a lot of action in this and the following videos. But every now and then the game allows you to catch your breath with a slow climb or a puzzle section and this is something I like a lot. And to climb up the scaffold and follow Celeste, we can repeat the move that we did for the free-flowing achievement just a while ago, the wall run turn and jump. And while we slowly follow Celeste, um, take a moment to appreciate the scenery here. Um, this art style of Mirror's Edge with a lot of white but at the same time very vibrant, very bright colors really made the game stand out from the very beginning. And before you know it, we are already closing in on the end of the tutorial. Keep in mind that the prologue will also be in this video, so don't turn off just now. 
And as we go down the zipline, um, I'll take the time to say I really like the tutorial of this game for one thing. And that is that it shows you your moves in third person by having you follow Celeste. Because Mirror's Edge is a first person game and you will never actually see yourself in the game. So watching Celeste gives you somewhat of an idea what your movement looks like. <laughs> and you might also notice that her outfit seems a little unfunctional for what she's doing, but that's just my opinion. Just the occasional example of uh, style over substance here. Yeah. Merc wants me to run you through some sparring. You know how he is. You ready? Okay, come on. Now Celeste provides us with a short combat introduction. Punches in this game are quick but not that effective. To open combat you can stun your opponents with jump or slide kicks, which you might see me use quite excessively throughout the next episodes. Alright Faith, let's run through some weapon disarms, just in case. Now these can be tricky depending on who you want to disarm. Uh, they are easy from the back, but of course you need your opponent to turn around first. Remember what I taught you Faith, isolate them. Fight them one at a time if you gotta fight. In frontal combat they are significantly harder. Luckily there is the so-called reaction time. It's basically a slow motion which makes disarming and hand-to-hand -hand combat in general much easier. It has to be recharged though, so use it wisely. And that's it for the tutorial. Okay, that's enough training ladies. Gotta get to the real thing. Drake's got a job for yourself, so check in with him. Faith, let me know when you're ready to get going. See you later, Faith. So we unlock our second achievement and I'll leave you to another beautiful cutscene and then I'll see you in a minute. Welcome back, this is where the game really gets going. We start with a long jump and then it gets tricky, jump over the fence, coil in mid-air and immediately press the button again to slide under the rails for the up, over, under, onwards achievement. The game is definitely faster paced now than in the tutorial, but I think it's about time. So as we go straight down the zipline, try not to lose any momentum when jumping onto the roof right here. And then we go wall run, turn, jump, wall climb, turn, jump for the wonderfully named May I Have This Dance achievement. Carefully balance across the pipe with the left and right key and notice that there are two police cars parked between the two buildings. Nice work Faith, you're making good time. Celeste's almost there. Just keep heading towards the comms tower. Give her the bag and she'll take it from there. After a nice little wall run we make a jump onto the pipe right here, then climb up the pipe, notice the news chopper on the left, blast through the door and keep this chopper in mind because it gets relevant in right about now. Wires are thinking about you Faith, sounds like some blues are headed your way, news chopper tipped them off. We grab the first of three runner bags in the level, now these are the collectibles in the game, and then we prepare for company. In case you haven't guessed already, blues are the police. And it seems like we have some of them on our tail. These guys will follow you and that creates a small problem. Because the exit here is to the right, but we need to go to the left to grab the second runner back. I'm patching Celeste. You there, Sal? What the hell happened? I can hear gunshots and that bird seems a little too curious. Face on our way. Get your ass ready to move. Fortunately, we got through there quick enough and also avoided getting shot, which is important for an achievement. For the next passage, keeping up the speed is crucial. The cops will continue to fire and we're desperately trying not to get hit. 
So let's not try anything fancy here and just get off the rooftop as fast as possible. Three quick jumps before we go into combat for the first time. Blues ahead. You're gonna have to get through them. Where we quite literally get the drop on this guy for the Hey, it's a me achievement. No time for celebration as we sprint towards the next one, take cover for a split second and then use reaction time for a beautiful slow-mo knee to the face. You ready, Sam? Yep, I can see face now. With these two guys out of the way, we have a clear path to the third and last runner back of the level. Collecting all three gives us the bag lady achievement. And now it's time to do what we actually came for and that is to hand off a mysterious package to Celeste. Get to Celeste. There are more blues on the way. Come on, Faith. CPF on your tail. Hey, throw me the bag! <laughs> okay, I got it from here. Okay, they're playing rough cell. I'll be fine. Four more guys join the party and we're not taking these on. Instead, the only logical thing is to escape and well... You gotta get off that roof, mate. Don't care how you do it, just do it. Jump onto a freaking news chopper. And this random act of insanity completes the prologue. And we earn the untouchable achievement for not getting shot in the entire level. The pacifist achievement for not using a gun throughout the level. And head over heels because we did not end up in a heavy landing. This is meant to be a low key job. Why the hell were they shooting? What did you do to Nothing. They just opened fire. Don't know what the hell's happening. I'll ask around. Get your ass back to base, Faith. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Cheers! Click the video to watch the next part in the series right now. If you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button and show your support.